when an aircraft is directly away flying away from a transmitter transmitting on a frequency of 15 gigahertz a frequency shift of 6 kilohertz is measured you have to find the speed of the aircraft all the also options are here so here you can see the aircraft is moving towards the station again it's moving at, at some velocity to ask to find out the frequency uh, what is this change in frequency observed what is that that is basically the frequency shift so frequency shift is uh, uh, is the uh, Doppler frequency or beat frequency of 6 kilohertz you have to find the velocity exactly same equation relative velocity by speed of light is equal to 20 Doppler frequency by frequency of transmitter. What is the relative velocity here? Again, the speed of the aircraft only. In this case, what is happening? The aircraft is actually flying away from a transmitter, right? It's not moving towards. It's flying away. So, say for example, there's a transmitter is here. Now, unlike the previous question, the aircraft is moving away from the transmitter, and this is transmitting at a particular frequency and bringing it back. So the transmission frequency is 15 megahertz. The velocity of transmission is C. The velocity of the aircraft is asked to find out what the velocity of transmitter that is zero. Since the velocity of transmitter is zero, the relative velocity is nothing but the velocity of the aircraft, which we shall ask to find out. So velocity of the aircraft divided by speed of light is equal to shift in frequency by frequency of transmitter. Therefore, velocity of the aircraft is equal to what is the shift in frequency? Six kilohertz. That is 6 yes. into 10 to the power 3 hertz multiplied with, yeah, C is C into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Meters per second. In divided by, divided by frequency 15. of transmitter. 15 into 10 raised to 9. 9 hertz. Hertz. Right? So, there is, uh, so what is the immediate uh, velocity, unit of the velocity you would get here? When you solve this, you will get this in meters per seconds. And then uh, you have yeah. to kind of look at the options and convert if required. Right. Hmm. So the immediate answer which you get is 120 meters per second. And you can see don't fall for this because the first one is 120 not, not meters per second. You have to now convert 120 meters per second. You can use your nav computer. How will you convert 120 meters per second? Just go to unit conversion, put 120 meters and find the corresponding value in, in nautical mile. So you know that one nautical mile is 1.852 kilometers or 1852 meters and you also known as 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds using these you can actually convert 120 meters how do you convert meters nautical miles by dividing with 1852 and how do you convert seconds to hours by multiplying with 3600 so it's 120 into 3600 Divided by 1852. You can use that computer. That's 233 knots delta. 233 knots. Therefore, uh, 233. Just one is delta. So you can find the same conversion using your nav computer and see how the answer turns out. But yes. But remember, do not fall for the alpha here as you told me before 120 knots. Remember, what you get from here is 120 meters per second. We have to now convert that to knots. So the frequency shift observed at a stationary receiver from an object transmitting at a frequency of 18 gigahertz is 2.7 kilohertz. What is the speed of the object in miles per hour? So I'll give you some time, two minutes, and then we'll discuss it. So here you're given the frequency of the transmitter as 18 gigahertz. Frequency shift is 2.7 kilohertz. You have to find velocity in miles per hour. So generally, if it's miles per hour, it's more like nautical miles per hour. So we will use the same equation here, where we have the relative velocity by speed of light is equal to frequency shift divided by frequency of the, of the transmitter. We have to find velocity in miles, but what else is given? Now, in the other frequency shift observed at a stationary receiver from an object. So we have an object, some kind of an object that is that is coming towards you. So this is the observer here, right? And the observer is stationary, therefore its velocity is zero. And there is some kind of an object that is actually coming towards uh, towards him, which is emitting frequencies at two points, uh, no, eighteen gigahertz. In gigahertz, right? You have to find out the velocity of this particular object that is coming towards a stationary target. 
And what is the frequency shift observed here? 2.7 meter. Observed at the stationary receiver. Observer is 2.7 kilohertz. So applying this. So since we know that one of the one of the references is stationary, the relative velocity is simply the other velocity, the velocity of the object that is um, uh, being propelled. Therefore, this is velocity of the object divided by speed of the light is 3 10 to the power 8 meters per second and that's equal to drift as the Doppler frequency is 2.7 kilohertz is 10 raised to 3 hertz divided by frequency of transmission 18 gigahertz giga is 10 to the power 9 hertz. Yes, what is the answer? It's 45 meters per second first. Yes, 87.47 knots. So you'll get 40. Uh, in, okay, 45 meters per second. 45 meters per second. So the nautical mile value is going to be almost double that, which is 87.47 knots. Knots per second. Right. Can you convert this to statute miles? Uh, yeah, using the uh, computer. Try doing that, yes. Uh, that's not asked, but you can just point six six. That's right. It's around 100, 101 statute miles per hour. Per hour, I just converted it per second only. Directly, like 87.47 oh, knots so, so, is per second, right? Per second, yeah. yes. Statute miles per second. Correct. Alright? Perfect.